Hey friends, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've uploaded YouTube videos because, let's be honest, my life has been a little bit busy. I've been growing a company called Do It Well. If you haven't heard it or heard about it already, check it out. Do It Well. D O U G H. Do It Well. I'll put it on the screen. Um. Anyways, it's high protein vegan treats like cinnamon rolls and bread rolls. My priority is to make it delicious and, of course, macro-friendly. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, I am going to try to do a better job of making YouTube videos because I still get a lot of questions that I'm sure like other people want to know the answers to. So here's something that I actually got a question to. I posted a... Uh, I'll try to find it. I posted a meal that I made. It was a, a vegan sloppy joe. So I'm just going to put it together really quickly for you guys. And I'll show you how I do it. Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm guessing that my macros for this meal is going to be about 32, 33 grams of protein, um, maybe around 60 grams of carbs, and maybe 10 grams of fat, depending on whether or not I choose to put mayo. But here's how I get started, guys. Of course, even though I'm not prepping for a show right now, I still weigh everything out. Um, I've got numerous scales at home. This is actually my hubby's. Uh, and what I do is I put everything on a plate as you see here before I cook it and then I'll just put it on the pan. I'm actually going to put this on the pan and then I'll explain to you what I have in there. Um, so let me just show you. This is Upton's, which I'll show you in a bit, fresh corn, uh, tomato paste, and some coconut aminos. I'm just going to put my, my pan is on just under medium heat. And I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and just let it sort of just sit there. And I'll talk you through all the things that I have um, in my pan. So, first things first, I have Upton's. Um, I like them. Uh, this is their chorizo uh, flavor. I like them because they're super macro friendly. Uh, low fat, high protein, low carbs, which means I can get those um, fats and carbs from somewhere else. I've also done it with this guy, which I'll just chop up a bit and then um, use it, but I'm, this, I'm not using this right now. Uh, the coconut aminos that I was using was this guy. Oh, I did about 84 grams of the Uptons. Uh, the total recipe for this meal probably has about 19 grams of coconut and aminos. And then I did two slices of this bread, um, which was about, I want to say I did about 35 grams of carbs from this bread. Um, I love this bread. It's soft. It's it's numb. Um, and so what I did, guys, is I mixed the tomato paste, which I think I did about maybe 19 grams or so, the coconut minos and uh, the, the Upton's soy chorizo, and um, I'm just putting it on the pan and kind of just letting it brown a bit and get warm. Oh, and the, the corn kernels. Um, so I think I did about 26 grams of corn. So, one of the things that I do, guys, is I have this um, kind of vegetable um, fruit container, Tupperware, that's specially made for, like, produce. And I actually really like fresh corn because it's crunchier, so I always, ha I like to have uh, cobs of corn. And then I'll just slice it up as I need it. Can you see? <laughs> um, and, of course, I'll probably put lettuce in there as well. Um, the other thing that I do, guys, as you can see here, is I've taken my bread and I've put uh, coconut aminos on it. So I'm going to make space in the pan and I'm just going to let the bread sit right next to it. I don't use oil or I typically don't use oil. If I think something is going to stick, I'll use the lightest amount of oil. And then the cheese that I'm going to add to this is, um, this is one of my favorite. It's chow, it's tomato cayenne. There's the macros, if you can see it. Oh, don't mind my luck. Manicure. And here's the guy. Mm, he looks delicious. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that bread crisp up a little bit. And then I'm going to put the, the cheese on the bread and let that all melt together. Or maybe I'll put the cheese with the... I'll put the cheese with the Uptons. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this sit a little bit, toss it around if I need to, um, flip my bread over, and then I'll, I'll be back. So the good thing about Sloppy Joe's is it's sloppy, so does it need to look pretty? 
Yes, because pretty for a sloppy joe means be sloppy. <laughs> uh, so anyways, what I did is I, I put the coconut amino side of the bread down first because I like to get it a little bit absorbed and crunchy wherever I can. And then I flipped my bread. I love the, the butts of breads. Um, so this is a little bit crunchy now. I went ahead and just sliced up my chow cheddar slices and I put it in there. Where's my spoon? And I put it in the, with the Uptons. I'm just going to mix it up, guys. Then the other thing I did, guys, is I, I did go ahead and I used some mayo. And so what I wanted to do was, have you ever had those sandwiches where the lettuce is kind of a little bit wilted in a good way from mayo? So what I did was I added, I think it was 14 grams of veganaise mayo um, with a little bit of water. I chopped up some lettuce and I just combined it so it's just sitting here and it's waiting for the sandwich to be ready. So I'm gonna let this melt through and then I'm gonna put it all together and I'll show you guys. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I kept it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use this guy. And put that however you want to. And I'm gonna start with this. You see how the cheese is all melted? And make sure to get the ones that are like the burnt bit pieces of cheese that are on the bottom. That's the best part. Spread that out. Oh, could have done the lettuce first too. Or you could do this. Now that, my dear friends, is a sloppy joe. It's gonna be delicious. I've had this like 10 million times. Um, yeah, so I'll take a picture of the, the macros and I'll post it here, somewhere. <laughs> uh, anyways, this is a super easy meal. Probably took me about eight, 10 minutes if I didn't have to do this video. Um, let me take a bite and show you my reaction because people like that sort of thing. Okay, here we go. It's so close up. Mm. Uh, one thing I'm going to do guys is I am going to let it sit for like five minutes and let the flavors absorb into the breads, you know. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take my puppy out for a poop and pee because she needs to poop and pee. Um, yeah. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, just let me know. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. Ding, 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 ding every time this baby girl posts a video. Um, and if you have any questions or anything else that you want me to make a video of, just put it in the comments below, guys. Um, and again, if you haven't checked out Do It Well, check it out. Because it's delicious. At least that's what people say. <laughs> Alright, guys. Have a great day. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay. See ya. <laughs>